Let's take a look at these bad boys. We've got some pretty nasty looking uh, beige colored PCs. The beige ones, you know, can always be kind of interesting. So let's uh, let's take a look and dive in. Oh, this one's good and heavy. We like them when they're good and heavy. Also trying to bring a little more light to the subject. So we'll see how that works too. Let me know uh, how the how the lighting is working out for y'all. I'm thinking about making some making a frame to go over the uh, workbench here and that would let me hang lights from it to really light things up so that's what we will eventually progress to all right now this is this type of frame wraps around the entire case so I'm gonna get all three of these off of here that one doesn't want to play that happens sometimes. Usually the quarter inch socket takes care of that. You can see we're already getting some <laughs> dust and dirt and grime off of this thing. All right. And you just slide it back because it's grooved here. We just slide that back. And the cover comes off. Now I always get a little bit nervous when I pull the lid off of some of these dirty ones because I'm always wondering what's going to jump out at me. <laughs> if you've been with me for a while, you've seen some you've seen some of the critters that have decided to take residence in uh, in these computers. Okay, we're gonna get some ribbon wire out of the way here. And so we've got a hard drive, a CD, a floppy. It's got some PCI slot cards here. A lot of PCI slot cards here. All right, first up, a, an old graphics card, socket mounted ICs, some more ICs, big old flat pack, big old top hat oscillator, relatively nice gold finger, socket mounted IC. This one's gonna be a Depop. I'm not gonna mess around with uh, selling this as the PCI card. We have some MLCCs here. These are caps. No, they're not. Well, some are, some aren't. So, some are F's, some are C's. So I don't think we're gonna mess with those. We'll just leave those there. But a uh, nice, nice, um, a nice board for depopulating uh, because these are these will come off real easy. These will come off easy. That'll come off easy. That'll come off easy, and then we chuck it in with the low grade at that point. So, that goes in the, I'm gonna depopulate bucket. Ah, there's one of the little critters. Don't know what you are, but be gone, you. And, get this ribbon wire out of the way. connection we'll get you from the other direction you guys up another slot card some mungness from something growing in here 
Okay, this is another another nice slot card here. We've got a uh, socket mounted ICs here. We've got lots of jumpers on here, lots of gold pins. This was another graphics interface. Uh, I'm going to think about you, so I'm going to put you there. Wow, look at all the components on this one. Socket mounted flat packs, regular flat packs, ICs, all kinds of jumpers here. You can see here these pins are numbered, one, two, three, four, two, three, four, five, seven, which is interesting the way they're numbered. But that's because jumpers are frequently used as switches to configure the board uh, or the device. So that's why those numbers are there to help. You would have been a, there would have been a document to tell you what the switch, what, where to put the jumper to switch it certain ways. Um, so ethernet looking card, dip switch, Sportster, I think that says. Anyway, very interesting, uh, very interesting card. I would have guessed that this would have been like a, a like a, I bet, I'm guessing this was uh, some sort of ethernet fax modem because you've got the speaker. So this probably would have um, been your connection and you would have, when you went to dial in and you would have heard the dial up tone. All right, that might be a depopulation too. There's some nice components on there that I can sell. Um, I do want to emphasize when you hear me talk about depopulating, recognize that when I say I'm going to depopulate something, it means that I know how I'm going to sell the components that I am taking off of that board. So I know how I'm going to sell a flat pack. I know how I'm going to sell an IC, a tantalum capacitor. Um, I used to depopulate crystal oscillators and I'm backing away from that because I did it because I thought one day I was going to get the silver out of the oscillators. Well, it turns out that's a very difficult process. So I am now of a mind to just leave the oscillators on. I might still pull the big ones, like the big top hats and the, and the large rectangular ones, but um, otherwise I'm just leaving oscillators on the boards now because I do not have an assured path for sales or precious metal recovery. All right, this slot card is just gonna go in with my slot cards. There isn't a whole lot on it for me to depopulate, if I leave the gold fingers on, even though those are nice gold fingers, if I leave them on there, this gets good money as a PCI slot card. This is an Etherlink, very clearly an Ethernet connection here. Uh, if you are selling to boardsort.com, take this bracket off to get top dollar. All right. Look at that Magnus. Uh. Those look like they're going to be silver. We'll see when we get this out. And I'm going to get up here and get these components out of here first. Let's see if you're screwed in anywhere you want to rotate. And that's just because you're rusty. All right, so we get the power supply out of the way. So this power supply, the plug is up here on the front. So I'm going to just cut you there. Now we can get you out of the way. Come on. <clears throat> okay. Now let's take a look at the other side and see if we got, yeah, we got screws holding in on this side too. Pretty common, uh, especially in older systems that the screws will be on both sides of the components. Some of the newer uh, computers, you won't find screws on this bottom side, <clears throat> but um, older components, yeah, you see that a lot. There's the plug. Uh, so I'm just gonna cut it right here. I might get more off by taking the, if I take the face plate off, I don't know yet. And here's the ground wire. I don't know if I'm gonna take, if I have to take the face plate off, fine. If I don't, it's, it's, you know, just easier to leave it on there. 
All right, now, hard drive. When you see th this kind of marks and this kind of debris, you know there's been cockroaches and other nasties in here. Up to 6.6 .6 megabytes per second transfer rate. Uh, I don't see a capacity on this one, but you know it's old, so I'm not gonna worry about it. And those are torques. So we get my hard drive torque screw device. This hard drive has the metal plate over the, oops, over the board. This one's rusty. I'm worried. Ah, oh, crap. Rats, Johnny. That one didn't want to come off. Oh, well. That was something we always said in school. Crappers, Johnny. I don't know where. Poor Johnny. I actually had a buddy named Johnny. He's like, why are you guys always picking on me? All right. You should come off now. There we go. So there's the board. And in this case, we'll just fold that plate right back over top of the hard drive. I don't feel bad about doing that. That's a lot of times that plate doesn't come off anyway. All right, hard drive board. Uh, let, hard drive, no board. The yard, so I, I, I have a mixed sales path here, right? I sell the hard drive boards to board sort. They pay extremely well. I'm not gonna give you the price right now because it changes. So you just have to look up on boardsort.com what the hard drive boards are going for, but they pay really well for hard drive boards. My local yard buys hard drives with boards or without boards. The price difference isn't that great. I make a lot more money just taking the board off and selling it to board sort even after I pay for the postage. So I do not break the hard drives all the way down to the platters unless it is a commercial client who is requesting destruction. All right, what do you think? What kind of CPU are we gonna get out of there? It's got a interesting look to it. Interesting look. Could it be ceramic? Could it be green fiber? It is ceramic, it is ceramic. Cyrix X86. Yeah, it's nice. I was, I, I just, I enjoy moving them around like that and seeing the, seeing the way the gold pins come together and stuff. It's, it's fun. All right, so a Cyrix X, is that a 686? X686? <laughs> a 686? <laughs> anyway, that's going in with these. I think I have a, a drawer just for Cyrix. Tank. Let's see. Nope. Intel. Yeah, there we are. By the way, if any of you have seen this sitting here, I don't want you to freak out. This is an air gun. All right, so it's just a, it's a little pellet gun. You put, this is the air cylinder here. All right, so it's not uh, a real Colt, but I tell you what, I used to, pack one of these when I was in the Navy. It was my favorite weapon. Didn't like the Beretta so much. All right, and that makes this a large socket motherboard going to boardsort.com. Um, I do not depopulate the boards that I'm selling to boardsort, uh, except that I might pull off a socket mount. I think, well look, that one looks socket mounted. And of course we pull off the ram, which is probably gonna be silver ram, tin silver. So we've got plastic retainers here. 
So we're just going to pop those. That should let us get it now without any trouble. All right, we still have something right there. What do we got there? What do we have right there? We have a nut. We have a screw right there. A brass riser looking thing right there. So that tells me there's a screw here somewhere. Ah, ha, ha, ha. All right. Man, they really hid that one. They really hid that one in there. Be careful because I don't want to round it out. There we go. All right. Whew. What a pain in the patoot that was. All right, so I'm going to pull the jumpers and we'll pull these socket mounted. And let's see, what are you? You're just a socket mounted, I see. So we can pull that, we can pull that, we can pull the jumpers. Um, and uh, we can pull the ram. Uh, where is the battery? All right. So we've got tin silver. And socket mounted and come on come on yeah your socket mounted come on that's cool let's cooperate there you go all right and then we'll pull these jumpers and then this will go into the bin of large socket motherboards uh, we will trim now I had somebody uh, ask me about ribbon wire on a previous Wednesday's bite. So let me show you something real quick with the ribbon wire. Uh, if you are going to try to get the gold pins out of the ribbon wire, and I'm guessing you've seen this before, but just in case, if you're new to it and you haven't seen this before, what you'll see me do is I just take a pair of scissors and I trim this off and I sell the whole connector as a gold connector end. But if you want to try to get the, rib the wires off of there, it's real easy pop that end off you peel off the ribbon wire itself now you have the back end of the pins are exposed and then there's any number of things that you can use to get in here these are kind of big so i don't think these will grab oh yeah there we go and then you can grab hold of and get the pin and sometimes there's a lot of gold plating on those pins and sometimes there's not much of any and this is one of those cases where there isn't much of any so um Because I sell those as gold connector ends, what you see me do is I take these tin shears and I cut them as close as I can so that I'm not leaving a lot of ribbon wire on there. Now, the yard that I sell my wire to does not mind if I put a little bit of the ribbon wire in with the number two. Uh, because the volume of my number two is going to be a lot more than any of this little ribbon wire. And they just, it makes, it actually makes it easier for them too. They just throw it all in one bin bun. So you need to make sure you know what your yard wants done. Every yard is going to be a little bit different. And I think we'll just do a little hammer time here. Of course, it would help if I could aim properly. <laughs> I'm sure most of you would have got that on the first hit.
I'm sitting here looking, just making sure I haven't missed anything. Oh, copper risers. That goes in with the motor bucket. We did have a few copper risers in here. I mean, brass risers, copper risers, I wish. Yeah, so we had a couple of brass risers here. That's these size. <clears throat> you see these frequently in the older PCs. All right, now I can, at this point, close you back up. Well, after cutting the cords off of the power supply, there wasn't much left to do but get the workbench cleaned up and ready for the next fun computer to scrap. But you know what? That's going to be for another Wednesday's Bite. So here's the link to take you to more of my computer scraps so that you can have fun until next week when we bring you another Wednesday's Bite computer scrap out. You all have a great day.